elbow's gonna be right about right here. Right about there. Let's go. Bring it down, try to put it right there. Here we go. Arch that back a little. There you go. Bring it down. Right there. there you go. That's good right there. Now push. Mm-hmm. That's it, that's it. That's it right there. Good. Bring the elbow slightly forward just a little bit right there. Now go up. Good. So now you're attacking all the way across the del nero. That's good. Perfect. Perfect. Good push. Good push. Oh yeah. Come on. What are we doing with this weird setup, you may ask? Well, well it allows you to go heavier and help you get out of the bottom of the hole. Because most people, when you get down in here, that's where it's tough. Mm -hmm. So it gives you that initial start. Now it's easy to lock it out. And then, you know, you overload your the weight you would generally do. And at the top of the oh, rep... You got you, three? Three, yeah. At the top of the rep, you actually have more than you'd be able to get otherwise. And so it's really helpful because it protects your shoulders at the bottom where everything's the most vulnerable, but really allows you to get an extremely good contraction with more resistance all the way at the top. What do you normally tear? Here. Yeah. So now that pressure's not there, it allows you to get past that point. Now the overall takes over. Notice how the band is loose here. This is the more difficult way to do it. The tighter you make the band at the top of the rep, the easier it's going to be, obviously. So right here, you notice that there's going to be no tension for me at the oh, top. Yeah. It's all me, but it pulls it out of the bottom. This is the, like I said, this is the more difficult way to set this up. There you go, good one, good one. That's good, good, perfect. You feel all of that at the top, but at the bottom, there it's is, like having a spot. There's absolutely no tension on it at all at the top. That's all him. <laughs> now check this out. If you want to go, say your next set, you want more reps or a little less help. All you do, take this daisy chain. If I don't mess it up. And give yourself a little more. And now you have more tension here be even more help at the bottom. It's the way you kind of move through that set. When you first start doing it, make sure there's less tension. I mean, yeah. more tension. So that way you don't get stuck anywhere in the exercise. Yeah. I have found that certain muscle groups respond better to having band assistance, whereas others respond better to have band resistance added. When I go against the bands, meaning having the bands pull the bar down on me, I feel much more triceps and much less chest. Whereas with this, you're able to get much more chest out of it with less tricep activation. Yes. The activation really starts from here, the bottom. Okay, triceps where? It's at the very top. But the midway through the top, boom, that's the tricep right there. So, doing the way we're doing it, you still gonna feel a little tricep? Who cares, we need triceps anyway. But you get, when I go against the bands, I feel only triceps and I'm not able to really connect with my chest because they have to push all the way through and they take most of it. So it just depends on what muscle group you're working with. We're doing a dumbbell decline. Charles is going to show us the correct angle that you sometimes can't get on a machine to really hit that chest in the decline position. Rashad's going to give us a help. Don't try that at home. <laughs> Too far in front. Up here? Right here. And then you stretch it down. Now push it right back up in the same way. There you go. Good. Keep it there. That's different. Yep, right there. That's the true decline. That's the decline, right there. Good. So the whole pec stretching. That's it. Top to bottom. All the way through. From the rib cage mm -hmm. to the clavicle. Yeah. Feel the difference? Oh yeah. Squeeze the tilt pole just on the top for a couple seconds. They always say, what is the one exercise that you need 
If none of the chest, what is it? Decline. Yep. It worked from top to bottom. <laughs> it worked the whole area. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. That's it. Way to dip. Woo. Way to dip. Let's, let's try with the pads. Yeah. Man, that's that's a lot different. Even yes. you know, good. Yeah. <laughs> Even the, the hammer strength, which you really like, uh -huh. doesn't hit it like Just that. Just like that. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. And I tell you, it's tough to get into and stuff like that, and that's why a lot of people might shy away from it. But What do you mean, might? They always shy away from it because they don't want to do it. Too much work. This is one of the safest things for your shoulder. It's one of the cleanest, and like Charles said, it works the whole chest. And I'll tell you right now, I mean, that was eight reps. My chest is full. Yeah. But we're going to try this time with the pad, see if we can lift more lift and more right. contraction in the chest. Where you put that? Under the uh, uh, upper, upper back? Yeah, when you lay down, put it under your back. Okay. Oh, right. Good? Yeah. You gotta lay down so I can see you yeah. first. Okay. Wait, now. Drop your head back. Hey, oh, wow. Drop your head back. Drop your head back. Now push through. Keep back a little bit right there. Now go straight up. Straight up. That went to the front. Too much to the front. Too much to the front. Right there. That's it. Right there. Now push from there. That's it. Right there. That's it. Come on. Push. Good. Push. There you go. Good. Come on. Oh, good, good, good. zero shoulder. Good, good. Come on, right there. Come on, right there. Oh. Get on the pet. Get on the pet. Oh. I see it. Good, oh. good. You squeeze my pet. Yes. Squeeze. Good. good. Bring it. Oh. Make it touch. One more. Another good one. Nice. Oh man, I'll do it again. Go. Do another one then. Oh. Get all that blood in there. Nice. Okay. You, yeah. Ooh. you don't even need a lot of weight. I'm not even going to tell you what those dumbbells are because they're not even triple digits. How'd that feel with the pad? It's so good. It lifts the shoulders completely out, out of the motion. <laughs> like, usually, even no matter what, you get deep enough on a press like that, your front delts are going to take the first part. I mean, there's really not much of a way to avoid it. But with that pad there, the chest starts to stretch. Basically, as soon as your arms, as soon as the weight starts coming down, your chest is forced here, and it stretches everything. Oh, that was good. That was great. <laughs> Rip cage up. Now allow a better contraction across the pad. Yeah. If you want to buy a pad, a just go time. to the website. It's right there. Five. Prices and everything. Six. Six. But it's great. You need one. I like doing flies on the uh, preacher. Yeah. Standing preacher. Because you can drop out, touch, yeah, and contract back in. Yeah. You see, just want to stop. Right there. Yep. Now come back up. There you go. Almost the top. Now start turning. Ready? Bring it up. Start turning. Start turning. Don't push it too much in the front. Keep it back. Keep it back. Right on. There you go. Right on the eye. Right on the eye. Come on. There you go. Good. Do it again. That's it. Right three. There you go. Right there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's it. So you can't get injured because they don't allow you to go so low. That's it. Bring it from the top now. Squeeze at the top. All right. That's it. Good job. Good job. Oh. Now, let's open it up a little more. Here we go. There you go, right now. Right to there. That's it. Ooh. Now come. Bring it. Bring it. Ooh. That's it. Uh huh. Here we go. Bring it out. Bring it out. I got you. Oh. Right Up. Squeeze it across the top. Good. Do it again. Uh huh. Right there. Bring it again. Uh. Okay. Come on. Come on. Good crack. Yeah. Oh. You really got to avoid the temptation to look forward. You got to <laughs> stare straight up. Yeah. Because when you start dropping your eyes down, everything follows. Yeah. <laughs> that stretch is good. It's so important to train your chest 
to feel the stretch into the movement. If it stretches, you're going to contract it coming back. But if it doesn't stretch, there's a good chance you're missing the mark. All of these that you've seen today, I've, everything is stretched the pec all the way. Most people do what? You want another one? They bend their arms. That's too much. So stretches come when you start stretching it out. That's when you get that stretch on the pec. Yeah. But if you, if you bend too much, you don't get the same stretch. It's limited. But here, it opens you up. Well, I think one thing, you have to think out, not down. Yeah. You know, if you take those elbows down, you're not going to stretch the pec. If you reach out, like, it, it's an odd feeling, but think about it. As you're taking that dumbbell from center line, don't think down. Think out away, 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 away. Yeah, away. away. And that's going to take that chest out that way. And then you pull it back across, rather than a press is up and down. This is a fly. It's a different move altogether. Right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, you let me come up. You'll notice if somebody's watching you, his elbows always are in line with his shoulder. And that's kind of what you're doing, because if you were to drop it down and not pay attention to that, your elbows would fall below your shoulder down to about here. Right. But so you pull out, but really you're just keeping that elbow right in line with your shoulder. But when you're amateur, you know what you're doing. When you use the pad like this, it's going to stop you. <laughs> so we want to hit the chest, right? We sit yeah. up straight like this? Yep. Just let it bring it up. Push through. Now, chest here. Just got dip from here. Dip from here? Yeah. Dip. Not push through. Push. There you go. Do it again. Do it again. Push through. Feel it there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Suck through the ribcage and push. There you go. Lean, lean more forward if you can. There you go, right there. That's it. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's it. Good. At the very bottom, you can hit tricep no matter what. Yeah. Unless you cut it short. That's yeah. And remember how Doug said the resistance of the band? At the top yeah. of the movement, you get the most resistance. There you go, good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I actually like the neutral grip a little bit more mm -hmm. than this one. I feel like you can really push it, that it, chest it's in. It's pushing it in. Yeah. yeah. Stretch right there. Contract in. There you go. Contract. There you go. Look at that pec move. That's it. Come on, Doug. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Come on, get it. Hold it there. Like that. Right there. Oh, right there it is. Right there. That's it, Doug. Uh-huh. That's it. Good, good. There's like cutting it short. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Good. That was a good one. That was good.